Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Cynic Alex. I'm so happy for all the support, guys. Right off the top, I wanted to say all those comments, all that stuff, even the constructive stuff, guys, makes me really happy. I'm really glad that even just a few people are getting enjoyment out of my videos. And uh, thank you guys for that and keep it coming. So, today we're going to be doing a bit of scumbagging, guys, as the title suggests. We're going into co op play, and I'm going to show you guys. Especially for new players, this is important how to maximize your gold output. And now, if you're a little bit of a VIP player, you know, uh, level two, level three, level four, this will help out a little bit more with the co op stuff. But you can still put my tactics to use if you're totally free to play player. Uh, just know that you will be a scumbag for this. But like the scumbag leader that I am, I will support you. So have no fear. Here's what you do you take one of your high level characters presumably one that has good DPS, for example, my Goliath. And now instead of just starting co-op and getting into a friendly match with some other players like this, uh, we don't want to do that because we can get paired up with people that can out DPS us. In this case, we're not going to be out DPS, I can tell, but we don't want to take a risk because for a lot of new players, they don't have a lot of high level characters. So they have to make the most out of what they have. So we're going to go back in. Let's pretend Goliath is one of, Goliath is one of your five top dogs. We're going to create a private game. Then we're going to open it to the public. Now when we see a player that could out DPS us, Hulk can't, but in this case if we had somebody like Angela or Loki, you just click it and you kick it. Click it and kick it guys, it's that simple. Now yes, you will be branded a scumbag for this, yes the Reddit people will hate you for this, but that's okay. This is all about the gold farm guys. and. As we can see with the net marble updates, gold is becoming increasingly more of a precious and valuable resource that we need to fight tooth and nail for. And if we got to fight against our brothers and sisters in the co-op for it, then so be it. See, that Hulk, he heard me. He heard that I was a scumbag. He left the group. So now I got to wait for another group. Sometimes, guys, this takes too long. So we go back out and we go back in. Reset it and try it again. I just want to show you guys a quick one. But basically, the tactics are the same. Ultron, not very high DPS. He doesn't want to tangle with me. Iron Fist, okay, level 50, that's okay. So if they're low level, then they're good to go. Even a Loki level 50, I'm not really scared of. Okay, he left. This Iron Man, I don't know what he's doing. He's asleep. Wake up, buddy. Okay, here we go. One more. Okay, Elsa without the uniform, guys, just like my first video, not a character to be feared. Okay? We're going to get top DPS for sure in this one. So here we go. And the goal, guys, is just to get top DPS. Top DPS is going to get you that perfect or best reward a lot faster. You're going to get it on four tries rather than a maximum of like seven or six when you get the lowest score. So we don't want that, guys. We want to maximize our gold output and we want to minimize the time that we're spent playing this mode because once you get up to like 50, 60, 70 characters unlocked, this game mode takes hours and ain't nobody got time for that. So uh, here we go. We spent about 30 seconds. Boom. There you have it, guys. Now, if that was uh, uniformed Elsa, she probably would have out DPS me or come very close. So we do not want that. If you see uniformed Elsa, you kick her. Okay, guys. We're not here to win uh, no honor awards, you know? We're not here for a medal of honor, okay? This is not an FPS, guys. Just get, get that sweet, sweet gold. And other loot, as you guys can see, Dimension Debris, Useless ISOs, etc. Okay, guys? So Hulkbuster, you're gone. Ant-Man, sure. Ant-Man's low DPS, I love that. Spider-Man, okay, Miles Morales, we can do that. Oh, he doesn't want to tangle with us. Okay, okay, double Hulkbuster, that's kinky. We don't want any of that. You're gone. Agent Carter, I love that. Super low DPS. She knows what's up. And guys, when you create a private game, you're also taking control of the leadership. So I have the physical leadership on Iron Man. So if I see a blast character, even if they're a high DPS blast character, like Sister Grimm or something, I can sometimes risk it because they're not getting that bonus that I'm getting. War Machine is operating with a plus 30% physical attack buff. So this is going to be a little bit dicey. Punisher can out DPS us. Let's see what his gears are at, and let's see if we can pull this one out, guys. So take advantage of creating a private game. That's basically what we're doing here. Yeah, we're being kind of dirty by kicking people, but uh, you know this is a competitive game, so you do what you need to do to get to the top. 
So yeah, even though Star-Lord is a pretty low DPS character, guys, I will show you in a minute that I can also get top DPS with Star-Lord against strong physical DPS characters because I have that 45% buff that they do not have. And uh, doing that every day will net you a considerable amount of gold that it otherwise wouldn't if you just played it you know, nice and kosher. So there you go, guys. Got it one more time. Let's go for gold. Let's Michael Phelps this baby. And let's get one more in. Where is Star-Lord? Also, guys, characters like Singularity, all those guys. Use and abuse that leadership. Here we go. Star-Lord, no uniform. Level 17 attack gear, but no other gear is at a high level. Uh, no obelisk and just a regular run-of-the-mill ISO set. Yes, I did kick vision because he's an energy attacker now rocket can be a problem but because his minds almost never get triggered by the boss his dps is like surprisingly staggeringly low in this mode so this is going to be a pretty easy win for me especially since these guys are not even level 60 these guys are kind of making it too easy for me i can't show off my uh my tactics my you know elite skills guys uh sorry if you can't hear the sarcasm but uh my meter is going crazy so here we go, six star skill. I wished it did more damage because the six star skill is so cool, but it it's just kind of sad. Maybe if I get his Lance Lance uh, Armstrong uniform. Sorry to uh, reuse the joke, but it's the best one there is for that uniform. All right, so the Tour de France winner is Boom Star Lord. So there you guys have it. Quick video showing you how to scumbag your way to top gold and top reward, guys. There you guys go. Twenty. Debris and 63,000 gold. New players, do it up. Get yours. Man's got to eat. All right, guys. Hope these tips have been helpful. And if you like it, I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care.